welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking. Today's top 10 is about the strongest martial artists of all time. Let's have a look. Number 10. Jean-Claude Van Damme began martial arts at the age of 10. His father decided to enroll him in a Shotokan Karate school. His styles consist of Karate Shotokan and kickboxing. He later trained in Muay Thai and Taekwondo. One thing I really like about Van Damme is his great ability to kick. He's got an amazing stretching that is developed when he practices ballet. His kicks are perfectly executed. At the age of 15, he started his competitive career in karate and he won many, many tournaments. From the year 1977 to the year 1982, he began his full contact career compiling a record of 18 victories and only one defeat. Number 9. Wayne Otto is a British karateka. He has a fifth dan black belt in karate and is the winner of multiple world karate championships and is in the Guinness World Record for winning the most karate medals. In 2012, Wayne became the head coach of the Norwegian Karate Federation. I had the opportunity to meet him and train with him as he came for a stage in Palermo many years ago. I can surely testify that he really knows how to fight properly, how to be effective and is terribly fast. Number 8 Well, for number 8 I chose Mike Tyson. He was well known for his ferocious and intimidating boxing style, as well as his controversial behavior inside and outside the ring. Among his nicknames we find Iron and Kid Dynamite in his early career, and later known as the baddest man on the planet. Yeah, he, he really looks like the meanest man in the world. If I were to meet him in real life, I would run away. Mike Tyson doesn't only have a unique technique, he's also very powerful. I spent several nights watching his fights. He is one of the best boxers of all time. He is very mean and you can tell by looking at him that he comes from the road. And as all you know, the road's only rule is that there are no rules at all. Number 7. Gary O'Neill, possibly Australia's best fighter ever produced. For his size, he possessed the most bang for back out of all the Australian fighters. He's very, very good. I really like him. I really like his style because his style is very real. It really amazes me the capability he has to reach his enemy even from afar. His fees and his kicks really look effective and I love his flying kick. His flying kick is just amazing. It's just like very very effective, very fast and very unpredictable. Number 6. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is really really famous in the world of martial arts. He's a martial artist and also a boxer. He has ended 18 of his 21 UFC victories with a knockout blow, as relied on his explosive punching ability. As he's really good with punches, I would say he's not as good with kicks, although his kicks are really powerful too. He rarely goes to ground and wrestles in his MMA bouts by choice. He says, I'll train in any style, I always love to learn. He told SB Nation in 2013, I always look at everything. I spend all day looking at videos or in the gym working on the things that I've seen. He also said, I started out doing some kickboxing and boxing, then a little capoeira, taekwondo and karate. The human body can move in many ways and that's what I'm trying to do. Number 5. Fedor Emelianenko 
Well, he resembled a real street fighter. He's not super fit, but he's super aggressive. He went undefeated for almost a decade. In fact, he had a nickname and was called the Last Emperor. Among his skills, we can see that he's got intensity, stoicism, and unpredictability. In his prime, was unquestionably king. With 35 wins in 40 contests, he was a tough guy to knock out or to even dominate. Fedor Emelianenko is renowned for administering a dominating punching attack. It's a skill that enables him to handily beat anybody. From down on his knees, he'll wind up his stocky body, cocking his punch back the way you're told never to do in a stand-up fight, then hurl himself into the blow like a man throwing a javelin down into the ground. And then his body lands on the opponent's torso, which he uses to maintain balance and stay somewhat upright. Number 4. Roy Jones This amazing American boxer was so fast, so athletic, so agile, so adept at seeing openings for punches from unorthodox positions. Often off balance, with such power that it's little wonder that he is known as Superman. Come on, get this! Jones won world titles belts from middleweight to heavyweight. Only one man, Bob Fitzsimmons, managed the same feat. And that was really 120 years ago. He used to box him while Rudolf Nureyev was to ballet, Diego Maradona to football, John McEnroe to tennis. Basically, a genius. Number 3. Sain Chai, a living legend that has been entertaining fans for more than a decade with his unique style and incredible blend of agility, technique, power and evasive defense. And now, even at 35 years old, Sain Chai is still as impressive and captivating as ever. Sain Chai possesses one of the flashiest and trickiest styles of fighting out there. Anyone who has watched him fight knows just how entertaining and unique he is. He has fought and beaten the very best, with an incredible fight record of 284 wins in a total of 338 fights. Sain Chai's achievements are unlike any other in the sport today. He is a multiple time Lampani Muay Thai world champion in four different weight divisions. He has reigned at the top for more than a decade. Sain Chai's styles and ability as a fighter have brought his fame and recognition not just in the home country of Thailand, but to all corners of the world. Sain Chai is one of the greatest tacticians to ever grace the Muay Thai ring, and while he is more renowned for his innovative strikes and approach to fighting, it is his unmatched knowledge and understanding of striking that allows him to pull them off with perfection. Number 2. Floyd Mayweather is widely regarded as the best fighter of his generation and one of the best defensive fighters of all time. Rick Hatton said of him, I was fighting a genius, a boxing artist. I was getting more and more frustrated. Lose your cool against Floyd Mayweather, and what you do is you get knocked out. Canelo Alvarez said of him, He doesn't expose anything. He's a fighter that if with three patches he wins the round from you, he's fine with that. He doesn't expose anything and give a beautiful fight. He doesn't care in what way he wins, as long as he wins. He's very fast and accurate, and more so when he's just trying to make points. I didn't really feel his punches were that strong, but he's making points, and he's very fast. Mayweather has had great defense, long arms, and he's very smart. His reaction time is amazing. He sees what you are about to throw and is out there before you can punch. His defense is still impregnable. His hand speed is still super fast. His conditioning is always marvelous. What can you say? The guy is probably one of the hardest working fighters in boxing. Number 1. Yes, as a number 1 I chose Muhammad Ali. There's no doubt that Ali was uniquely skilled, but he employed techniques that, while clearly effective, were far from classical. In stark contrast to contemporary views of best practice, 
he often held his hands by his sides at waist level, and he sometimes avoided the punches of opponents by pulling his head backwards away from them. Many boxing experts regarded these as high-risk behaviors made viable only by his astonishing speed, but the unorthodoxy served to confuse his adversaries and lure them into errors. It was seldom the aggressor preferring a method that capitalized on the aggression of others. Ali very aptly characterized his own style as float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. His distinctive and conventional boxing style was in keeping with the fierce individualism and rejection of norms that pervaded other aspects of his life and created almost universal interest in him. So many people to mention. In fact, I need to make a honorable mention to Bruce Lee. He's one of my favorite martial artists of all time. He's the greatest of all, so that's why I didn't mention him. And also, forgive me if I didn't mention some of your favorite. And if you have favorite martial artists, please mention them in the comments below. Please continue to support me on Patreon and the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, if you feel sad, you better call sad.